Hi guys, today I got the King Art Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks in a set of 24. So on the packaging, they look like the fancy art crayons. And I'm wondering if they're going to be like the fancy art crayons or they're going to be like gel highlighters because of the gel stick name. But anyway, in the packaging, you get two separate cases, two separate plastic cases. So I guess once you find your favorite colors, you can just move them all to one case and just bring them around everywhere with you but it's pretty cool that they come with cases you can use but i think having two separate cases might be a little bit troublesome but on the back of the box you do have color names so you got tan yellow red scarlet orange so you got a pretty good selection of colors and today i'm just going to review them for you guys so i've got paper here for the swatching and I'm going to start out with tan. So it actually is a pretty smooth texture, actually like pastels. So they're kind of good if you like pastels but don't like touching them or like they just feel sticky. So these are pretty good, but if you do want to blend them, you probably would have to use your finger or something. So this is orange and I tried layering it onto the yellow and it is kind of transparent. You can still see that there is yellow there. So it is pretty buildable. Um, as you can see, it's really velvety. So it's pretty thick, creamy texture, not overly creamy, but this is Scarlet. And these are, and this is Rose. So yeah. You would have to blend them out with your finger. But I think it is pretty good. So we got pink, dark pink, purple. It's pretty warm purple. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But then we've got violet. And on the box, it actually looks more of a periwinkle color. But... I'm okay with a lighter purple. And then we've got blue. And as you can see, my handwriting looks sloppier than usual. And that is because I'm not using the edges because I don't really want to ruin the shape. But um, you could obviously sharpen them if you want. But these are more for like making, filling in big spaces or drawing big, big pieces, not really for fine details. But this aqua green, <laughs> moving on to a different topic, this aqua green is a lot more blue than I was expecting it. On the box, it did definitely seem more of a, a greener color, but then we have aqua blue, which looks more like a sky blue. So I was expecting aqua green aqua green to look like aqua blue and aqua green to just look more tealer actually i wonder why they just didn't call aqua blue sky blue but it does look on the box itself it looks much more greener but we got turquoise which looks like a regular teal or what i was expecting aqua to look like one of the aquas at least but then we got light green And then we've got green. And then we've got dark green. So all of these colors are very simple to understand, simple to say. So that's, depends on you whether you like more cooler names or sim simple names. But then we have light brown. Brown. and dark brown. For most of the colors, they have a light version, a dark version, a, a regular version, and dark version, except in the case of the blues and purples. And so half the colors basically have brown, light browns, and dark, or regular, lighter, and darker versions. But I think that's really cool because you get a good variety. And then we have silver and gold, metallic colors. And the white doesn't seem to layer that well. 
just makes the color a little bit more lighter. And then we have black. So you wouldn't be able to block out your mistakes with the white pastel. But anyway, let me show you how shiny the gold and silver, silver is. So here I got my paper. And I'm just going to go with the pot. And I decided to utilize the good selection of blue, greens, and browns that I have. So I'm going with the regular brown. It's like a very terracotta color. So I guess it would be perfect for a brown color. And I'm going over with the light brown just to lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm going to use the dark brown to kind of create like that rim around most faces and kind of shading below it to look like there's kind of, you know what you call it, space underneath. And then I'm using the brown all around. And this was actually meant to be a shadow, but I decided it would look better as dirt and made that part of my plan. If you go on circular motions, you do get a more natural dirt color. And if you do go off the sides, it does get onto your table. So watch out for that. <laughs> well, I mean, everything gets off on your table when you go off the sides. But I'm going to test out one of what plant I want to do. So one of the guesses was succulent, but it looked too much of, like, I guess, a green lotus to me. Or, like, a green... One of those lake or water plants. So I decided to go with um, this simple dark green plant. It's a pretty simple plant, like a very generic one. But I did really like the way it turned out. And then I'm taking dark pink as little like flowers on the edges of the leaf. They started as like little buds, but then I decided to make them more into the flower shape, a simple flower shape. And I'm using some of the dark brown to kind of create like the shadows, or add, not really shadows, but add some depth. And I blended these out with my finger, so if you don't like touching pastels, then don't do that. But I did add some green for a little bit of highlights. I lightly tap these with my fingers and I'm using the pink for some light bit of highlights on the flowers. And I'm going back with the dark brown color. And this is basically all soil. And I'm also using that on the edges of the stalk to give them more depth as well. Now I'm using the dark green to kind of add some more sprout wings. So the, basically the, what I envisioned was that this was like the big plant, I guess. Kind of looks like broccoli, but there's a bunch of tiny sprout wings in the soil around it. And then I'm just going to use, I think, uh, aqua blue. Or I think it's more like a sky blue to me. But I'm just going to color the whole thing and I'm kind of smudging it with my finger because you do get like the little pieces like the little kind of like little balls of the blue like when you keep coloring it's like pastels but pastels they instantly mush like oil pastels I mean they instantly mush when you, when you press the little excess stuff into the paper but these do take a little bit more work like if you're using a softer version of a crayon slightly softer but I'm using the aqua green to kind of create swirls around the thing to add more dimension to it. And I'm just fixing up around the flowers, just adding some more touch-ups. Here are the final results. My opinion about the King Art Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks are pretty good. I liked the assortment of color and how they weren't really messy compared to just using regular oil pastels. Their consistency was pretty good, and I like that they had gold and silver, and I like how the art that I made with them turned out. 
My only tiny, tiny problem with them was that some of the colors didn't look like how they were descriptive on the box. So therefore, I gave them a 4.5 out of 5.